Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ness. If you are new to the channel, this channel provides a lot of product review, specifically footwear design. And sometime here and there, I will sneak in a couple of clothing pieces that I think that are interesting to share with you guys. And I always, always create few different looks to give you guys ideas how to style them. Because in the end of the day, you buy a pair of shoes, meant to wear them, right? Not just gonna talk about it, not just gonna put them on the displays, unless you are that kind of person. Uh, in this video, I'm excited to share with you guys my thoughts on this collaboration between Timberland and Humberto Leon. To those who don't know Humberto Leon, is, he is the founder of Opening Ceremony. Man, I don't know that brand still exists. When I check out their website, they don't really release like they used to be, you know, because back then they actually have a runway show every single season. And the store opening ceremony in Soho, they closed too. I was a little bit upset because that store is one of my favorite store. Whenever I go to the city, I always check out their new product across Opening ceremony store is Rick Owens, so um, super convenience for me just like to check out those two stores when I visit opening ceremony. This collaboration though is the 50 year anniversary. Timberland celebrate their classic boot. You know, uh, Timberland boot is one of the most iconic yellow boots in the market. Um, they influence a lot of people from hip hop to streetwear and originate the boot was really designed and make for working class and now seeing the brand evolving make me feel exciting about the Timberland's future they not just collab with Humberto Leon but they got a six creative thinker reimagines the six inches Timberland boot. I think this entire project they call it Future 73 and in those six creative thinker I only know three of them you know because I actually buy their products so I know them like a cold wall from Samuel Edison Chan, obviously I'm Asian, so in Southeast Asia, Edison Chan was very huge. They released two models from this collaboration with Leon. Um, the first one is this six inches boot. Uh, when they just announced the project Future 73, they show all the creation from the other five creative thinkers. This one is stand out to me the most. The other products, they are really cool too, but it's not really speak for my personal style. Um, this shoes pricing is $295. It's pretty expensive. I mean, already like 300 something, including tax. So, that's what you get the price from opening ceremony too, you know, opening ceremony, the, the price range is not that cheap. And before we get into the detail of the shoe, let's talk about the comfort of the shoes though. Uh, in my opinion, I think it's okay comfort, uh, but the shoes is a little bit heavy. Um, I feel like I really working on my calf muscle a lot when I wear the shoes and even that you trying to weight on your hand is heavy too. However, the craftsmanship and the quality leather on these shoes is very good. You know, they use the Timberland's premium leather. It's very thick and durable. That's what you expected from a pair of six inches classic boot from Timberland. And uh, what I love the most is in this area right here, around the eye stay, you know, this is beautiful. The reason why I love the part of the shoes is uh, the patterns, right? They are pretty much the same as uh, the pattern from the classic boot. That's what I'm looking for. But the detail why they are a little bit different. They exaggerated the metal eyelet and also they use thicker lace. This type of uh, design detail is currently very trendy right now. If you watch my last couple of video about the Onisuka Tiger, they also have that kind of detail with the thick laces and with the oversized outsole toolings. 
and in the color they still have that padded for comfort additional on this collaborations model they have the pouch uh, on the pouch in the front side they have the Timberland branding logo with the name of Humberto Leon underneath and in the back of this pouch they have uh, the another embossed of Humberto Leon uh, branding logo I think this is in Chinese character if you guys know what this mean let me know in the comment sections and also in the heel counter they have the embossed Timberland branding logo on the right shoe in the left shoes they have the Humberto Leon branding logo and around the toe area they have the molded rubber foxing for a better protection I appreciate that thought however on the top down view on this boot though it look a little bit ugly I don't know if you can, can see this but it's a little bit feminine there you know look like a ballerina I think because of this rubber foxing you know it kind of ruined the toe shape a little bit I wish the molded rubber foxing don't extend all the way to the van just like how they done it on the low top version and go to the outsole tooling on these shoes the exaggerated looks outsole that is make the shoes stand out that's why I love the shoes in the first place except the molded rubber foxing in the toe I already mentioned it I have to mention it again because it's bothered me a lot when I wear the shoes and I keep looking at this toe it looks so damn ugly and the footbed is removable they have do embossed branding logo Timberland and Humberto Leon the next shoes from this collaboration between Humberto and Timberland is this pup shoes the pricing on these shoes though is a little bit cheaper it's $220 this one look a little bit more comfortable compared to the boot but to me though, for my personal taste, I would pick the boot because I love the quasi leather that they use on this upper and also the iconic new outsole tooling from Timberland. It's very modern and classic. Combine them together. The comfort on this pup shoes though is actually better than this boot, but I still pick the boot over the pup shoes, you know because I think this boot is way more stand out than this pop shoe the upper material that they use on this shoes is the ripstop nylon combined with the padding so it's gonna keep your feet dry, warm and comfortable during the long cold winter time and in the back around the collar on the right shoes they have the Humberto Leon tags in the left shoes they have the Timberland tags and in the back of the shoes they have the adjustable jaw strings for better fitting with the leather pole and this a footbed also is removable they have the embossed dual branding logo just like on the boot version and these pup shoes they also have the molded rubber foxing they cover protect the shoes from all around with Timberland branding logo in the back and go to the tooling of the shoes in the midsole they use fake rubber welting and also EVA material in the outsole tooling they use the Vigram outsole tooling uh, this outsole tooling gives you I think the same height as the boot four and a half centimeter height the shoes though fit me two to size um, I bought these shoes in size 6 and also bought this boot in size 6 as well um, they fit me pretty good uh, but the thing is very right, I feel a little bit roomy I think it's okay because uh, during the winter time I will wear thicker socks so I'm not gonna worry about that these two shoes is so damn heavy if you wear this boot in 6 months you have a big calf <laughs> that is for sure and up next I'm gonna share with you guys how I would like to style them
So there you go, what you think about this collaboration between Chamberlain and Humberto Leon or the Project Future 73 in general. Even though I don't really into the other shoe from this Project Future 73, but I appreciate every single one of them. And if you like one of the look in this video, give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel for more video. I have a lot of video coming up every single week and I can't wait to share with you guys. I'm out.